This is a 27-year-old woman seeking treatment for severe sensitivity to cold stimuli in the mandibular right teeth. She also reported episodes of spontaneous pain, self-treated with analgesics. The patient was not able to indicate the responsible tooth. A periapical radiograph shows that the mandibular second molar has a deep occlusal composite restoration, adjacent to the distal pulp horn, and an interproximal mesial caries lesion. The cold test gives a severe painful response for this tooth, lasting several seconds after removal of the stimulus. Percussion and periapical palpation are negative. The first molar responds within normal limits. The diagnosis of irreversible pulpitis is made for the second molar. Treatment plan encompasses removal of the existing restoration and of the mesial caries and access to the pulp chamber. The patient is advised that, depending on the status of the pulp in the chamber, the final treatment may consist of a pulpotomy or a pulpectomy procedure. After removal of the restorative material, a pulp exposure in the area of the distolingual horn appears with avascular pulp tissue indicating partial pulp necrosis. The interproximal caries is accessed and the carious dentin meticulously removed. After cleaning the cavity, a second exposure appears. The pulp chamber roof is progressively removed. Gentle probing reveals that the pulp tissue is detached from the dentin walls. We have histological evidence unpublished that this corresponds to degenerative changes and bacterial infection. Therefore, full pulpotomy is accomplished. With the surgical cuts placed at the orifice level. After hemostasis, pulp wounds appear idle. Wounds are covered with a bioceramic material. Excess moisture at the distal orifice is gently absorbed with the blunt end of a large sterile paper point before capping. The bioceramic material is covered with dical and the cavity temporarily restored with IRM. A postoperative radiograph is taken. The second appointment is scheduled after four months, but the patient could come only after one year. She declared that there was no pain in the postoperative period and the tooth was comfortable. Inspection reveals that the temporary restoration is partly deteriorated. However, a radiograph confirms that the pulp chamber is still protected. No periapical changes or irregular calcifications in the root canal can be seen. The pulp responds weakly to a cold stimulus applied in the cervical region. After anesthesia and isolation, the restorative materials are removed together with the bioceramic material. A mineralized tissue is revealed 
filling the area of the previous surgical wound. The newly formed mineralized tissue is covered again with a layer of bioceramic material. blocked by a layer of dichel and the cavity adequately restored with common adhesive technique and composite materials.